Let's take a look at some signals which will send the crypto markets exploding into 2022. Now, the first step of this signal has already begun on some cryptos, which we'll take a look at in the video and use some cryptos, which we've already seen this happen on and go through the process of these signals that make those markets explode. Now, this is based on a lot of history and you can see the patterns repeat time and time and time again. If you're familiar with the channel, which you should be as you've probably subscribed here already. If you haven't, make sure you do that right now. Hit that bell notification icon as well and like the video up if you find some value from it. We look at the Wyckoff accumulation pattern that occurs on all markets, in particular cryptocurrency because they are so highly emotional with new investors in them. So in particular, those come from the lower market cap cryptos. As we can see, the major players are in things like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we still see those patterns play out time and time again. So let's crack on with that and then also look at how some of these signals uh, start how they go through the middle and then how you can start to see them play out as they pump at the other end. All right, so if you guys are looking for any of the links from today's video, check out them. Uh, check out the links in the description down below. My Twitter, Instagram is all down there. And also the sponsors for today, Bybit, $4,000 giveaway. Link is down below only for you guys watching the channel and New Brighton Capital for your superannuation needs in Australia to get your super money into cryptocurrency while that market is down. Use the link down below for 150 bucks free credit when you go through the sign up process. All right, with our sponsors now firmly taken care of, let's look at Bitcoin right here. First target, second target. All right, you know we've been looking at these since the crash low on the 4th or even earlier because we had the 50% here back from July. All right, so this is all going to lead into how these cryptos get to explode because you can start to see the patterns happen time and time again. So Bitcoin, first target, we have just about cleanly taken this target out. 49,000, boom. 54,000 is that next target. And uh, that comes in at the high of the fourth bar. The reason being is that it's a change of behavior. You guys have been following for a long time, know about this. And it happens time and time again. We saw this in May. So these are typical Wyckoff pattern signals. This isn't just something thrown together on on-chain data or anything like that. This has been happening for hundreds of years and picked up by Wyckoff in, early in, the, in the early 1900s uh, where he's talked about the accumulation, the markup, the distribution, and then the market getting marked down. So we're at that first stage at the moment looking at Bitcoin. You can see it happened earlier in May. Now, if we just take a little closer look, we are potentially in something like this in June where the market started to head up. Everyone gets super excited, but then look what happens. Market heads back down, tests some of these lows. The fear starts to climb in again, and then it goes sideways for a little bit, and then we head into another low before we climb out. This doesn't happen have to happen exactly like this, but you'll see it happen in a few different ways across other cryptos, and we'll look at that in just a second as well. Now, this gets really, really exciting at this point because we've been smashed for some time and I think maybe we might be going through this now and it uh, works in quite nicely with that Santa rally as well. So you've got this positive market sentiment of a Santa rally and then you see it happen on the chart. People are getting really excited that we should scoot back up to 60 or $70,000 quite quickly, but this will throw them off if, if we get that part, at which time... We'll see big fear. Hopefully, we see some good volume come in. Otherwise, things could get a little sour as we drop below 40,000. We're not there yet, but it's just things to keep in mind. Either way, for my sort of trading plan, I like this as another purchasing opportunity for my longer term holds. Now, I split them up differently, longer term and trading portfolios. That's important to note because we're looking at uh, different cryptos to trade to get more Bitcoin and ETH as well. So we have the accumulation plans uh, strategies, which we'll look at in just a moment as well. Some of the big news, which I think will continue throughout 2022, even if the prices don't necessarily show that the news is so great, it might just be that it's a, an accumulation year. So we could get really good news, but the market still goes sideways. This is how markets work. Crypto companies have raised just over $25 billion in venture funding during 2021, hell of a lot of money, and it's a lot more than 2020, so it's the biggest year in history. We also have crypto.com, so more crypto companies that are promoting themselves in huge 
huge events like the Super Bowl ad and of course Crypto.com Arena now where uh, the LA Lakers play. So this is another big thing over there. So we'll start to see that accumulation, some of that news start coming out and then you start to see the breakouts and the new people, not you guys because you guys are here during the boring, the fearful times, then you'll start to reap some of those benefits of being in earlier in the markets. Other big things, Bored Apes have actually flipped the floor price of CryptoPunks. So NFTs seem like they're still going absolutely bonkers, especially when the market is in this sort of neutral fear zone at the moment. Of course, just a week or two ago, we were in extreme fear, but we get that flip-flopping around even though the price hasn't done too much in the last few weeks. So the cheapest available floor price, Bored Ape, is at 53.9 ETH and uh, CryptoPunks is at 52.69 ETH. So a lot of this stuff could be that big news. This is all the, the stuff that could send the markets exploding next year. A couple more pieces here. Shaq.eth. I mean, I was a big fan of Shaq uh, when I was a kid watching uh, Orlando Magic. But here we go. Shaq's also on the crypto train. And I think that's going to continue on, especially as that NBA and other sports teams get more closely aligned with crypto. So we're starting to see crypto branch out into sports. Well, it has, and also into gaming. And that's a lot of younger people in those uh, arenas where they're starting to promote to. Now, in terms of technicals, we have uh, Uniswap being deployed on Polygon. So the Matic token has also had a bit of a move. Keep that in mind as we've seen this this token price, the Matic price, climb up over the last few weeks. It's been a big one on the channel for me and with my members in Patreon and Premium, links are down below, uh, looking at my portfolio and things like that, that Matic has been leading up in this time, this strong horse. But maybe we start to get a little bit of a cooling off from now. It's not something that I'm looking to sell, but I'm wary of areas where we might see some price resistance for a period of time before I can start to buy back into these things. All right, so this is back to Bitcoin. We're going to look at some more cryptos as well. Uh, a few of these here that will look like they are in that explosion territory. But I want to just ch uh, jump over to the uh, another Bitcoin chart that I have here, looking at my Wyckoff schematics. And so the next move up could be this next test. So we want to test the trading ranges and, of course, the high of the bar. So if this happens, then we start to see the money flow out into cryptocurrency. So that's another reason or another area of how I look for the markets to explode. Ethereum has been one of the strongest horses in the blue chips as it remains well and truly above its 50% level. So this is the strong half and the weak half at the bottom, starting to get a little bit of a climb out here with some volume, which is a good sign. And these lows have held. So that 4th of December low has held quite well. That's a good sign. Now, the other 50% that I want to look at here is the low to the high. And the number is $4,220. So $4,220. Ideally, a few closes above here. And then we're really into that strong zone of Ethereum continuing to consolidate before we head to some new highs. This is all leading into that schematic to look at the explosion in 2022. Maybe it's quarter one, maybe it's quarter two. Either way, this is all starting to build up in the early days. I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. I don't think it's going to happen next hour. And uh, sometimes they take days or weeks to at least get to that second step. As we can see with Matic. So using Matic as the example, looking at this explosion and how it's happened in the past. Matic's low July. It had the bounce in May and then it just faded, 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 faded into the low in July. So this is Matic USD. Then we had a higher low in September, another higher low in November, and now we had the higher low in uh, mid-December before we've taken off to take out a new all-time high just by a few cents at the moment. The volume is pretty good. We're still coming in at the at the highs here, which is a nice thing. Uh, if we get a pullback, we get a pullback. That's fine. You know, it happens every time. Move up, move down, move up, move down, move up, move down. So the idea is you want to see a higher low. So around that $2.10 is probably as far down as I feel comfortable for the market to consolidate before it moves up again. So think about this for the explosion in these other cryptocurrencies on how this pattern plays out. We've joined the fundamentals. So it comes out as a news piece, right? We have the, the, the map here. And looking at the Wyckoff schematics, you can see it happen on the chart before the news pieces come out. That's pretty big news for Polygon to have some of the biggest volume being deployed onto it. 
Now we look at the pattern when it comes to the Bitcoin chart. You can see that you have multiple opportunities, something that I've stressed time and time again on the channel when it comes to trading cryptos. Make sure you're always getting more against your Bitcoin value and your Ethereum value. So the crypto you're looking to trade, look at it against Bitcoin and Ethereum. This is to reduce the risk. Otherwise, you're better off just holding Bitcoin if that altcoin is not going up against Bitcoin, all right? Because Bitcoin is the least risky in these cryptos. And so looking at Matic against Bitcoin, all right, you got the low in May, you got the, the next low in July, which was lower, and then you had another lower low in October. So if we were just buying Bitcoin during those drops, during those lower periods, as this schematic is playing out, we can accumulate Bitcoin through this period, and then Bitcoin goes on its run. October, it heads to its high. Matic, where's October? This is October for Matic, all right? So you have all this gain in uh, your Bitcoin USD value, then you can start to sell some of that Bitcoin if you want to gamble it, speculate with it on some altcoins. And this is the low here. So you have that patience. So although I think altcoins will explode and we can see from Matic, the same pattern has played out time and time again. The news has played into it. Well, really the fundamentals and the news is telling us about it uh, later than what has actually happened. We will see this occur time and time again. So I can now use that Bitcoin after I've made those gains on the really, uh, the times that I've bought it, at those lows when the fear is out there and then I can accumulate that Bitcoin, throw it into something else and watch those gains play out in a shorter period of time. So this takes a bit of practice, but if you're playing the altcoin game, this is what you want to be looking for. Now, Matic Bitcoin has broken above. You can see the major 50% here. So that's a safer entry as I was talking about with our members. And then it broke above the next 50% level. So it's done quite a lot of action in this period of time from around October or November into late December now. So this is really good. This is the pattern that we wanna see. And if we miss it, we have time. So I'm gonna look at some of these other cryptos now. And you can see, you might be starting to notice that now. You might be starting to see these patterns play. You had the low in May. And so really for uni, even against the US dollar, it has not been a profitable crypto to be holding since the top in May, early May. And you can see it just hit all of these lows. So we don't need to be holding this thing through that whole entire period. Uh, now we're starting to get this move to the upside. So you don't need to get the exact low, but we're starting to see some larger ranges up. So the, the safer place would be above the 50% levels. Right, that's, uh, that's above $22. So maybe around that $23 if the market continues to hold up there. It's a long, it, it's a decent way from 17 bucks. But if you want to look for these things that are starting to move rather than hold them through the whole period, that's what I would be looking for. Dot, similar sort of action here. Obviously, it's a, I'm a fan of it. I'm a holder of it. So if you think I'm pumping my own bags, good luck to you. All right. It's a pretty big cryptocurrency to be able to do that on a channel like mine. I need a lot more money than what is present here on the channel, I would think. Unless you're a billionaire watching the show, let us know in the comments down below or get in contact with me via email. Uh, looking at this here, 50%. We're starting to get some early signs here on DOT. This is what I want to see. Downtrend, broken. Early signs here, breaking above the 50%. Can I still be patient? Personally, I think so. I think maybe we have a few little movements to do. We've been on a massive downtrend at this point. So I want to start to see some high lows get put in. I'm not convinced that this is a low, but it could be. We'll only know in the future. The 50% looks good, above 28. And then I want to see this thing start to move up. Depending on how I want to play it, if I want it just to trade in and out, I would wait for the momentum. If I want a dollar cost average in, even if this goes lower to 20 bucks, to 16, to whatever, then I could start to dollar cost, dollar cost average when the market starts to uh, fade down again because it's broken some of these downtrends. The downtrend here, it's tested the 50%, okay? So that's two different ways to play it. Other cryptos, which I like the look of, Affinity, it's had this little bounce at the moment, a little bit of volume here. It's not confirmed yet because it could very easily come back down and take out its all-time lows, which is a very weak signal. But that's the risk that we take to get these, these big gains, buying at the lows, potentially going lower, and then getting this explosive move using these explosive signals from the Wyckoff accumulation, from the big news and uh, development that these cryptos are putting together during this quarter, quarter four, maybe quarter one in 2022, and then we start to see that explosion later on. That's all possibility, especially if we see the market move up a little more and just get bigger ranges to the upside than to the downside. Pretty simple stuff. DeFi, 
Look at YFI against Bitcoin. It had this little bit of an explosion here. There was some news out about them changing their tokenomics and uh, going on to Curve and um, uh, things on Aave. So they've, these other DeFi tokens have had a bit of a move, in particular Curve. And you can start to see that it's starting to fade now. So if this is the low with some good volume here, then maybe you will look to see a higher low and that would be another buy opportunity. Very low, need that patience. This has had a huge downtrend, massive, massive downtrend since 20. 20 back in uh, mid to late 2020 and so this isn't out of the out of the uh, the shit yet but it's at least getting some sort of signal doesn't mean this is it but if you want to take that risk that's the sort of risk reward that you're looking for all right uh, last one here is gala now this is in a much different position than the other cryptos that i looked at here you know we've got the layer ones we've got some gaming and nfts we have DeFi here and then we have back to gaming stuff it's just bounced off its 50%. It's a newer coin, of course, and it's looking to break the next short range 50%. And ideally above 60 cents is uh, the safer entry point that you'd want to see a crypto like this get to, especially as it's already done a huge pump. It's now sitting on its 50%. That's where I want to see it. So in terms of the setup for a lot of these coins, some of them are in different positions. Some have had a huge downtrend. Some like Gala and some of the gaming may be winding up for the next explosive move into this first half of 2022. Go back and look at those Wyckoff schematics, the accumulation periods, as you'll see on all of these charts, and uh, just be patient because, as you can see, the moves are barely a couple of weeks with some of these smaller tokens. That's all the energy that's in the market, a couple of weeks. And then the sideways and the accumulation period can take months and months, but that's where the big explosive, massive 45x gains are made is in the patience. All right, so make sure you've liked if you find some value from it. Check out the links down below. Buy a bit, huge giveaway coming up on the 3rd of January. All you have to do is transfer a buck to it, buck to the platform once you've signed up. And it will be obviously talking a hell of a lot more about these cryptos this week, next week, into the new year. It still looks like we've got a fair bit to go in this bull market, especially as we look at the Bitcoin Wyckoff schematic as well, provided we hold up above the 49,000. Of course, if Bitcoin decides to shit the bed, it drops back down between the 30 and the 40, this thing just plays out at a longer and longer period. So be patient for these cryptocurrencies. See you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas. Until then, have more fun to get more done.